Here you go. Good afternoon. I'm Mary Brown with American Majority. First of all, I want to give some thanks to the people who have been speaking so far this morning, this afternoon, uh, on what they've talked about. They've given us a lot of inspiration, a lot of knowledge. And leading into that, uh, Dr. Wolf talked about being able to do something, get out and, and get active. American Majority is a nonprofit, nonpartisan organization. We do training, teach you how to talk to and communicate with your representatives, with your community. We have trainings coming up on September 15th and September 28th. Some of you got flyers, I'm out of flyers. Excuse me. But these trainings start at 6 o'clock at, uh, at Antioch Library in Merriam. We'd love to have you come. You can sign up online or you can, those who are called American Majority, to be a part of it. Our topics will cover building coalitions and reaching your community. Government 101, helping you understand what they're supposed to be doing. Holding government accountable, something that we've all been struggling with and hopefully we can do more of. And effectively communicating your views, whether that's to your newspaper, to your representatives, to your community, uh, on, the, uh, on blogs, on Facebook, on Twitter, on any of the social media outlets. But all of these are important. And I want to ask something. Does anybody know what the American Revolution was? Not a trick question. What was the American Revolution? Yes. Unhappy with the government? Doing something about it? It was the changing of people's minds. The actual war came after. But changing people's minds. And how do we change people's minds in? There were millions of pamphlets that were handwritten by people who went to work every day, who had families, who had things to do, had busy schedules, but they took the time out to write those pamphlets and get them distributed so that people knew what was going on. They knew what their options were. Today, we don't have to get up and go to work and come home and tra transcribe pamphlets either by hand or on very primitive presses. We have the internet. So we don't have too many excuses compared to them about getting the word out about what needs to happen, getting information out, being knowledgeable. So I would encourage all of you to come to our trainings, one of them again on September 15th, one on September 28th at the Antioch Library in Marion, Kansas. If you can't do that, find other ways to learn because it is going to be so key going into November and then on into the next election cycles to get the knowledge out and get the vote out. Jim, are you ready? Yes, we are. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Yes. PM. <laughs> Registrations at 5:30. All of the informations are on the flyers that I handed out. Otherwise, go to our website. Does everybody have a pencil? It's www.americanmajority.org. Go to Kansas. Go to uh, activities, and you can sign on there. Thank you very much. And Jim, here you go. Thank you, Mary. I appreciate it. Uh, great group. Uh, we uh, we work with them uh, quite often in uh, uh, conjunction. We do different things when we're working together. Uh, Susan, let's try the tutorial again since we've got sound, or at least we should have sound. begin calling. This is the screen when it comes up to you and what you're going to have is is if you're either on a regular landline or a cell phone you click that box okay and then what you do is you put in the phone number of what you want to call and I'm going to put my cell phone in there because I want you to see how it works and what it does and uh, my cell phone is 785 979 1840. Now, before she clicks the OK, 
The soft phone is, is if you have a phone that's connected directly to a computer, that's what that is and that's how that would work. So if you, depending on how you're set up, go ahead, Susan, if you would click OK. This is the screen that's going to come up and if you notice on the right hand corner over there, there's my phone number uh, that they're going to connect up to. And it's going to bring up the voter phone number right there, 803-865-7531. And the, the first thing that comes up is the box that tells you the instructions. And we want to make sure that you always read the instructions so that when you, before you start, you have either uh, written them down or make notes of yourself so that you don't get confused when you're involved in trying to, to make a call. So make sure you read those. Once you've done that, you can click over there to close. If she would, Susan, over there on the right side. Close that. There you go. Now, this is the voter's name, okay? And uh, here is uh, right below the voter's name. And oftentimes, if there's more than one voter in a household, it'll have a vote, or three or four. Okay, so you know that you may have more than one person who answers the phone. And so you've got to make sure that you have names of who you're talking to. Live script, and hi, this is Jim Mullins with Americans in Prosperity. You have a quick minute. I'm calling you to encourage you to call. This is supposed to be, it would be Stephanie Moore in this district, okay? Tell her to stop wasteful spending that is bankrupting America. Uh, she not only voted for the seven and so on, so on, so on, and type thing. And that's basically what you're doing is you're introducing yourself and making a phone call and using a script, okay? Now, the, one of the things that is is that if you continue on with the call, one of the things you want to do is, is that you plan on calling Stephanie Moore to tell her to quit spending and, and on the, the different votes on the things she's done. You want to get a yes or a no. Yes, no, undecided, or refused. Okay? We, we need to get that for the feedback that we use to continue this and build that database of information so we can use that for, for the future. Now, then close. Thank you for your time. For more information, go to NovemberIsComing.com. This call has been paid for by Americans for Prosperity. Click on that note, note box there. There you go. If they have certain information, for instance, if they uh, said to you, uh, well, where do I vote or where do I get a, 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 a advanced ballot or, or whatever it may be, they may ask you a question about the upcoming election. Then you can put that note in there and then we will make sure that that's taken care of and brought down so that that information can go back to them. Okay, we're, we're gathering that information. Then once you've done any notes that there are, if there are none, is we want you to do a call response code of either no answer, busy, wrong number, or so we're refused, Whatever it is, left voicemail, completed. And if you have completed, in other words, you've completed a call, you gave your spiel, uh, did those kind of things, uh, and got notes or whatever it may be, then what we want you to do is do that and hit hang up or click on that one and say, go ahead and hit completed there, Susan, if you would. This this is live right there. Okay. Now, I haven't made the call, but if we assume that we've made the call, then we're going to go back and do that for a minute. Go back up to the top, if you would, Susan, please. And see where it says, uh, click to begin over there. Talk about. 